Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi Black Shark 5 and today I will show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So to get started with the process, uh, you will need to grab a SIM card. So I have one right over here. Now the SIM card doesn't need to be functional, we just need it to bring up a lock screen. And one more thing that we will need is connection to Wi-Fi. I have already done so. As you can see, there is the Wi-Fi connection bar. So there we go. So those are the two requirements. And before I actually get started, I'll just kind of go over the state of this phone that I can see right here. So it's locked using a pattern, which you can obviously see on the screen, and also locked using Google account. So without knowing either one of those, you cannot finish up the actual setup of the device. So to bypass this, we will now pop in our pop in our SIM card. There we go. So I do have a pin on my SIM card, but that is not important because once it pops up, what we will do now is take it out again. So there we go. Now, when you press the power key, you will see the lag screen. So you wanna pull this down, click on the bell icon, select app notifications, Scroll down to YouTube, additional settings in the app, about, and let me quickly check. I think we need to select help. Yep, so help. And in here you'll type in delete or And it comes up as a suggested, delete or disable apps on Android. Click on it, then select the step one, top to go to application settings. From here, you want to select the more option and show system. And I'm gonna now scroll down to, actually, no, we're not gonna scroll down. We're gonna go back up and in here somewhere we should have, there we go, Android setup. Click on Android setup, select for stop. There we go. Go back, scroll down to G for Google Play services. Oops, too far. There we go, Google Play services. Click on it, select disable, disable app for stop. Okay, then go back and scroll down even lower to settings. So we have settings right here and settings right here. So there's two different settings. Now, I believe we need to open up the first one. So this one with this I kind of icon. Yep. And the reason I say that we need to open up one or not the other, because this, the one that I opened, has the option to open up settings. The other one does not. Select open. From here, scroll down to Additional settings, accessibility, accessibility mini, enable it, select allow, got it. And now once you have enabled the serve, uh, the accessibility mini, we'll want to go back. And from here, we're gonna skip this step. So we're now back in the actual setup. So I'm gonna progress through it. And right here is the page that you would normally see after it loads it, uh, the verification process. So like you've seen before, it was the pattern and Google account. But now because Google Play services are disabled, this will not show up. It will just constantly be trying to look for updates and nothing will happen. So now to proceed further, you wanna click on the accessibility menu icon, select Google Assistant. This brings up settings icon. I'm gonna click on that and this will open up the Google Play Services page, the same one that we were on where we selected 
to disable Google Play services. And now you want to select enable. Now, as you probably see, this doesn't work all that well. This is completely normal. There we go. This actually took relatively uh, quick amount of time. So in normal circumstances, you might be repeating that like 20 times before you manage to enable it. And once you actually enable it, uh, it won't close till, till you manage to, well, as long as you keep trying to enable it, it usually closes fairly quickly. So just uh, keep on trying. Now, one thing that I think might happen is the quicker you do it, the more successful you might be. So just start spamming it as quick as you can. And yeah, once you manage to enable it, go back once. Okay, uh, I was waiting for the phone to stop listening to me. But obviously you wanted to select more and then accept. This will take you to the next page where you can then select the screen lock. Do right now, just skip it. Skip everything that you uh, can because the device is still actually locked. So what you want to do right now, once you have access to your home screen is navigate to settings, scroll all the way down to... All right, never mind. we're gonna go all the way up and we're gonna navigate to about phone and here we have factory reset, erase all data, factory reset. Now you need to wait 10 seconds here and 10 seconds uh, once you press on the next, uh, you'll have then another, like I said, 10 seconds to wait. Now I'm not gonna go through this process. I'm just gonna kind of take it to the last page right here. So once this timer uh, reaches zero, we can press on okay. This will begin the factory reset of your phone. And the reason you want to do this is because factory reset of the device done through settings when the device is well, unlocked like this, uh, basically removes all the protections from the phone. So any kind of pin, pattern, password, Google accounts, all that stuff is just completely removed. So that is the last step you want to do. Now the reason I'm not gonna go over it on the video is because it just takes time and shows you nothing interesting. So it's a factory reset which is fully automatic and once it's finished, you will be back in the setup screen. Now at that point, you can set up your phone however you want. So that is how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone and if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.